Hi, I'm Kat Shea, and this is Trailers from Hell. We're looking at the trailer for the 1983 film Scarface. It's a movie that was kind of a bomb at the box office. Um, it, was, it was disappointing, and it was widely criticized, but critics, you know. Anyways, I know all this because I was in it. I had a very minuscule part. Okay, so what do you call yourself? Huh? Como se llama? Antonio Montana. This is back in the day of excess and even Universal Studios, a, a studio that was known to be very fiscally responsible, participated in this excess. It just demonstrates the power of Brian De Palma. Uh, so it was it was about excess and it was excessive. I was in the movie because Brian De Palma wanted the Babylon Club populated with model actresses. I was told you had to be a model with acting credits, uh, or in my case an actor with modeling credits to get the gig. I fake the modeling credits. But anyway, in the hallway at Universal was just littered with gorgeousness at the call. I mean, there were recognizable models just standing there waiting uh, for their interview. Uh, and four or five of us got hired. And what we were hired to do was just react at the Babylon Club to the big shootout. It sounds like a day's work, right? Or maybe two days' work, but no. Uh, between the problem of the walls being mirrors and the entire crew could be seen in them and the fact that Al Pacino wasn't feeling it and wouldn't come out of his trailer for a week, I worked a full week on the shoot. And at Friday at 5 p.m., um, the illustrious DP, John Alonzo, announced that it was going to be Universal's first no shot week. An hour later, they got the shot off and the reaction actors were released. And in their defense, I have to say it was a Herculean shot. It's very funny. You know, it's a movie about excess in the age of excess and all the women are way too skinny. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer could be playing a Holocaust victim. I know it's about cocaine and everything, but still, every woman? And I love Al Pacino. I had this huge crush on him from like 12 to 24, but his accent is awfully heavy for a guy that speaks that well. The movie is operatic by any standards. Everything is in the extreme. All this heavy plot intertwined with family and romance and sex and shades of incest and love. And the characters are just truly caricatures. And, and yet it all works. And let me tell you, I know it's working for a whole new generation because I get the residuals. We make movies and sometimes they tank at the box office and we think it's all over. And then 25 years later, we find out it's a hit or it's a classic. And that's the beauty of making art. So cheers to Brian De Palma, who I have an amazing connection to. He put me in the movie. I titled my first movie in honor of his dress to kill and called it Strip to Kill. I cheerleaded him after Universal's first almost no shot week, telling him it was the best shot in history and it was scary as hell, and it was. And then 30 years after Carrie was made, which he directed, he approved me to direct the Rage Carrie too. But he told Jeff Kleeman he didn't remember me from Scarface. I was the skinny one. Okay, never mind, all the girls were anorexic. I was the girl in red.